We're pleased to be joined by Ewan Murray of The Guardian from Dubai. Ewan, I understand the CEO of the DP World Tour, Keith Pelley, met with a handful of journalists in Dubai, yourself included. What did you learn? Hi, guys. Good to talk to you again. I learned once more that, that Keith Pelley is very bullish and, and very upbeat about the state of his organization. Um, he had a slight pop back at... He didn't name Lee Westwood, but I took it as Lee Westwood, who, who was vaguely critical of, of the state of the tour last week. Um, and he spoke about more general themes. He spoke about the, the world ranking situation generally and the world ranking situation as it relates to live. Um, you know, Keith was restricted in part because there's, there's an arbitration case coming up um, in the UK between live players and the, the DP World Tour, and he couldn't speak much about that. Um, but yeah, it was good to catch, catch up with him at the start of the year, and, and um, he was in good form. What did he say specifically about his position on the board of the official World Golf Ranking? Well, he, he sympathizes, although he, he thinks that the OWGR generally is in a good place, he sympathizes with the widespread point that maybe there's some tweaking needing done to the rankings. On the subject of Liv, he revealed that, that um, Keith himself and Keith Waters, also of the DP World Tour, and Jay Monaghan had recused themselves on legal advice when it comes to all matters of, of Liv and the OWGR. I think that seems a quite obvious thing to do, but you know, as far as I'm aware, it hadn't been pointed out publicly before, that, that that is what these guys have done. Ewan, regarding that, what do you think the timeline is? This is seemingly everywhere in the media. There's always so much talk about the world golf ranking, how it needs to be adjusted and changed. Did you get any type of sense of when maybe things might look a little different moving forward? In respect of live or, or, or generally? It's just general accounts of, of all those involved. Um, well, I think there's a meeting at, at the Masters and there'll be some discussion around it then. It seems to me as if they're constantly reviewing what the rankings look like. Uh, the level application has to go through a technical committee, which, again, as far as I'm aware, it is birthed just now um, and looks like it's going to take quite a long time. And then if it gets through there, that falls into the hands of the, the four major championships, given Keith, Keith and Jay are now out of that picture. But, but I think Keith was keen to say today that, that you know they don't regard that system as completely perfect. It, it struck me that they have listened to complaints about it, the way it's been updated. Um, you know, John Ram, for example, as we know, has had quite a lot to say. And, and while they think the system is a good system, they will listen to and take on board concerns that the other stakeholders in the game may have. Speaking of John Rahm, a wonderful start in 2023, two for two on the PGA Tour. What are your impressions of the start he's had in this new year? It's incredible, isn't it? And, um, you know, it, it maybe intensified the, the, the sadness of those of us in, in Europe that he, that he wasn't playing last week in Abu Dhabi and isn't playing this week in Dubai when you see how, you, you know, the extraordinary stuff he, he's producing on the golf course. Bigger picture, it's great for the Ryder Cup, isn't it? Rory McIlroy, you know, most of last year played so well. John Ram is in a very good place. There's so long to go until Rome and the Ryder Cup, but it, it's great to have a European golfer in such fantastic form if... Just a pity for those of us over here. He isn't, he isn't doing it on this stage. Speaking of Rory making his 2023 debut this week in Dubai, how much do you see Rory and John Rahm, though they'll be teammates, obviously, in the fall, kind of pushing each other at this point in terms of the official World Golf ranking and being the best player in the world? Well, I hope so. You know, that, that would be great for the sport, right? We, we love rivalry. We would love two guys like that going head-to-head -head over the main part of the year with that number one ranking and, and with major championships and with big tour titles at stake, I think that would be really, really good for, for the sport. Um, the event here in Dubai has been boosted because it's Rory's first start of the year. Obviously, he, he skipped Hawaii, so there's a bit more stardust involved this week in Dubai because, you know, Rory's, Rory's back, Rory's playing the Rory factor. And I'd be pretty sure he's kept, you know, a close eye on, on John Ram's results and thought... Um, you know, anything he can do, I can do better. Speaking of the Ryder Cup, the Hero Cup, by most accounts, the smashing success in Abu Dhabi a mm -hmm. couple weeks ago, an appetizer for the European Ryder Cup team. You were there. How important was it for Luke Donald and Team Europe? Yeah, I think that was a great idea. I mean, Europe had previous success. It was called the Series Trophy back in the day. You know, just a great way to assimilate players into that team environment. They, they play so little team golf as professionals now. It's not so much what they do in the golf course. It's understanding on a slightly smaller scale um, what a Ryder Cup involves. And Luke Donald, 
and others could, could also learn a bit more about the characteristics of these guys that, that you know that were in the team room. Some guys maybe surprised them um, in terms of their attitudes. You know, within the locker room, they tried to replicate a Ryder Cup, Ryder Cup scene for players and caddies as closely as they could. And everyone I spoke to thought it was a, a fantastic success. And you know, I wouldn't be at all surprised if if quite a few of the the players involved there tee up for Europe in, in September. Yeah, you're finding a lot of depth. You want to understand it's dinner time in Dubai. We appreciate a few minutes. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys.